So a light bulb glass eating street performer and a goop core wellness queen walk into a bar. Bartender, I'll have whatever's crunchy. Make mine alkaline detoxifying and ancient. So you want black salt? That's how I ended up with these dark purple crystals. And I did the dumb thing. I pull a few big chunks out of my grinder, pop them in my mouth, salty, savory, and then it turns into a lava rock, like I'm chewing a tiny asteroid. So I Google it and find out, Kala Namak isn't just mined and done, it starts as rock salt. Then humans said, let's put it through a furnace like ceramics. They kiln fire it with charcoal and plant stuff to trigger a chemical blow up. That's why it smells like boiled egg, egg fart umami. It's sulfur compounds showing up to the party. And the lava rock thing? The salt dissolves first, but the cooked in minerals plus carbony grit can hang around so you're left with this crunchy skeleton like, congrats, your snack is now geology. And then the marketing's like, ancient volcanic ritual crystals. No brother. Someone basically smoked a rock and upsold it as wellness. So, you two have anything in common? I eat glass. I eat kiln-fired salt that turns into pumice. Wow. So you're both not afraid of a little grit. So, if you don't mind chewing glass, you probably won't mind getting real up close and personal. Anyway, that's why this salt is cooked on purpose. Follow for more. Why is this food like that investigations? And please, don't eat light bulbs.